All right, here is another table of Thomas's bonsai. This is a contorted flowering quince on a piece of lava rock. And we missed the flowering, the flowers just fell missed off. Missed the flowers, yeah. And I have been ignoring it for years, <coughs> shape-wise, just letting it grow and lo way longer than it needed to, uh, adapting to the rock. You see, he planted it in lava rock, not all of his lava rock bonsais survived. <laughs> and um, it was starting to look kind of haywire-like. So I finally uh, took the time, took a day, and and took off what needed to come off and directed pieces so that there's more of a long, low horizontality to the kinks. Mm -hmm. Because it it naturally grows this way. There are very few of these kinks I did. Um, you just chose the, ch the kinks to keep. Yeah. And, and then I redirected the kinks the direction I wanted them. Mm -hmm. So they weren't all going helter-skelter. Now there's kind of a directional, as if it were bent that way in the wind. You're kind of fond of those windy, <laughs> bent trees. Well, it's there. I, we live on a gorge here and we get 70 mile an hour gusts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they knock so your trees over all the time. Yeah, they knock the trees over into my car. <clears throat> okay. So that's the tale of the flowering contorted quince.